Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you doing? Today, we're going to work on um, the menu a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're going to work on the character class just a little bit. And we're going to make it ready for... Uh, for scalability basically so when you level up your character you're gonna get uh, points basically skill points and uh, then you should be able to level those up and in the menu we're kinda gonna show some stats from the player um, just up here just a little bit just to kinda make it a little more dynamic alright so that's gonna be up here it's gonna be kind of like a little bar with some some data in it Mm, so cool that's cool so let's just get started here so int stat points like that just like that um, and then basically in the character that's so we're in character dot h all right um, let me just do that okay so we're in character cpp now and I'm just gonna set skill points this or stat points to zero and uh, as we create our character we need some scalability so the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use something called a private function so it's not a a uh, variable like this we're gonna create a private function am I recording yeah okay cool so uh, we're going to create a private function <clears throat> and this function is going to do void um, update stats so that's basically what it's, it's just going to be update stats nothing special a constant no it's not going to be constant it's not going to have anything and uh, we're going to for practice sake we're going to create this function right here so I usually create my private functions up here even above the uh, the constructors and everything constructors and destructors there you go so private functions all the way up and what this is gonna be is void character um, uh, update stats okay easy peasy and we're gonna get back to this we're gonna we're gonna set this up and in the what is it what's it called in the uh, constructor we're just gonna call that so I'm just gonna copy everything from the constructor and I'm gonna say this um, update stats okay that's all we're gonna do and we're gonna set this name equals name uh, maybe I shouldn't have removed everything wait I'll paste this into update stats and I'll just copy these two uh, and paste them here because the level is gonna start at 1 and the name is the name obviously so we're just gonna remove this now the XP will be 0 as well it's nothing we have to update like that but the EXP next is something we're gonna have to update but we'll work with that in the next video this is just gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit about uh, these uh, these other stats so HP we're gonna have to set these first because everything is gonna depend on this basically everything is gonna depend on that stat points is gonna be zero I'm just gonna remove everything that is gonna be set to something special here we go so we'll start with strength and vitality and everything and then mm, let's see Wait, everything is going to depend on this, so I'm just going to do that. Everything is going to depend on those. And EXP next is going to depend. We're going to change that in another one, so let's keep that outside. Stat points. So all of these are going to depend on our stats. These as well. And the gold is zero. So this, this function is basically just going to um, update all of this depending on our stats. So the HP, I don't know what we're going to do. I would think we're going to do vitality multiplied by, uh, we can make it easier for ourselves. This HP equals this HP max. 
and this HP max is this vitality multiplied by 10 plus this vitality so we get kind of a kind of a nice little uh, algorithm going here so it's something at least uh, so then we'll set HP to HP max the stamina is um, like this it's just that we will do this vitality times two I guess something like that we'll do the same thing here we'll uh, as we change this we'll probably change this later to balance everything out we will just make our lives easier and just change the max there you go mana something like the HP like this whoops like this cut that put it above this mana max okay so there we go and then defense uh, what else do we have we have agility dexterity so defense this agility and then we will kind of mm, we'll add to defense from armor and stuff and to dodge chance as well so but dodge chance will be kind of uh, very slowly going up so this dodge chance is a float and agility is an integer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna static cast this to a float like this and we'll like that and we shall divide this by a hundred like that uh, so when you have a hundred agility you'll have one let's see so you'll have one percent dot chance that's that's interesting uh, let's put it divided by let's divide it by 50 something like that we'll see we'll 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 fix that later hit chance uh, I shouldn't have hit chance dodge rating hit rating so it's just gonna be um, something that depends on the enemy's defense as well so it's kind of a rating it's not a chance um, and that is that will just be I think uh, depending on let's see maybe we'll have dodge rating dodge chance see chance see this is kind of the things you got to think about uh, dodge chance hit rating hit rating there you go I will change all this stuff as we go along hit rating is gonna be this dexterity multiplied by 2 so I'll have some low numbers plus this dexterity um, there you go uh, cool good 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 hit crit chance something like this something like that and it will be dexterity like this magic find will be on intelligence so intelligence divided by 50 something like that so here we have some some stuff going at least uh, some some dynamic stuff happening so there you go update stats and we'll add it at the bottom of character now if we go into two string we're gonna have to change hit chance to hit rating rating like that crit chance everything that's fine I want to put these attributes in the header file the attributes I want to put them up top so we we'll keep kind of a so we'll keep some type of a uh, order on all of this stats so have HP and stuff and then dot chance and defense and I think I'll do the same it is the same here it's just the HP and stuff is below whoops wait there you go let me put HP I'm not sure if that should be above I don't know what you guys think 
but I want to keep the same order everywhere because my OCD you don't have to if you don't want to but uh, I'll, I will so you have all the stamina and everything and then you have your stats anyway let's keep going from here so now hopefully in game when we create our character we're gonna update the stats and we should get some cool values some nice values so if I if I print character stats oh here we go look at all of this cool stuff here so if we look at it level 1 exp strength everything's 1 HP is 11 uh, stamina is 2 mana is 11 defense 1 dot chance 0 0.02 hit, hit hit rating I should change that crit chance 0 0.02 magic fun 0 0.02 okay that's cool I think uh, as we level up that will get better and then then uh, gear will change that as well mm -mm -mm. so let's go up to to this again we'll we'll balance all this out as we go along uh, maybe this goes up a little slower maybe crit chance goes up a little slower or a little little slower as well 60 maybe this goes up with 70 as well or 60 like that and we'll change it up a little bit and um, cool so that's good that's good let me change let us change hit chance to hit rating like that and then we will go ahead and uh, yeah let's go ahead into game and let's change some stuff in the main menu so here I want to print out some stuff uh, I want to print out name um, character player I don't know what what do we call it uh, this where is it game.h this character uh, this character so get name I'm gonna do that I'm gonna create a function for that and you know what we could do we could create a function for the whole thing we we'll create a function for the whole thing. This character get uh, menu bar. Get menu bar. Let's just call it get menu bar like that. And then we will add a new line to that. New line. Boom. So this will be like a menu bar. Now go into characters at cpp and character.h create a public function down here above to string probably or somewhere wherever you want it std string we're returning a string get menu bar like that and then we'll create a function for that const std string character get menu bar let's do this std string um let's see string let's create a string stream string stream uh, like that how did we do it last time okay we just put everything into it all right so what do we want in our what do we want in our bar so we want uh, name this name like that and a space space maybe a line like this and level this level one of those and then exp we need level exp uh, name level exp stamina HP and stamina I'd say those are the most important ones uh, this exp and one of these this exp next let's uh, increase that space there this exp next I don't know how much space we have to work with here but uh, we should be done soon. <clears throat> um, HP. 
this HP, uh, this HP max, like this, <clears throat> and then stamina, just the final one. This stamina, one of these. It's kind of tedious working with uh, console applications. Uh, this stamina, stamina max. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do a. Then we'll just end it there. That's cool. That's our that's our string. So this this is a and then return ss dot string. <clears throat> so this returns a string into this get menu bar, and. Uh, Hopefully that will give, that will give us what we want. So you see your name, level, exp, hp, stamina, and uh, there you go. You get some character data, and we can make this look a lot better with spaces and stuff later. Mm, and we can do maybe one of these. Some cool, cool design here. Something like that, and then at the end maybe add a thingy like that as well something like this I don't know whatever you guys and girls like something like that just something cool uh, so you have some data here and uh, maybe we'll add some more new lines here just make it nice just one more new line and check it out and then Maybe two new lines after this, and we'll run this. So here's our main menu, our characters, quick stats, the options, enter your choice, one, and then the main menu pops up again. So before we end this video, I just want to work on one thing. I want to do this. I want to say system CLS here. So every time we get to the menu, and then uh, system pause at the beginning all right so as we begin it's gonna say press any key to continue we get the menu I run character stats I have all of the char character stats here right here and it's waiting for me to continue so I can check my character stats everything and then I continue and I'm back at the menu and I just removed everything so system CLS obviously just removes everything from the console clears it and system pause waits for me to to continue um, and what we could do is we could add it in the switch case in each one of these. I don't remember correctly, but I think you could do it like this. You just make a little bitwise operator here, and you put system pause in here. Or was it CLS? Pretty sure. It should clear it. So when we run it, we do this. Yeah, it cleared the menu, and we're up here and we run it again and we run it again so we can get our character stats all the stuff and we clear all the menus so it looks more like a game and this is a bitwise operator I haven't played around with this too much but once you get better at programming which I haven't done uh, you learn about these they're really good to use and I think this combines these two things somehow so I'll, I'll look into that a little more in the future but I know I've used this before so yeah, this, uh, this works. So we, we worked a little bit more on the character class. Go check out the code on GitHub if you need it. I'll update it. And um, yeah, if you run into any problems, just write a little comment in the comment section below. Ask, the, ask your fellow community and, and me, and I'll hopefully I'll be able to help you. But yeah, thanks for watching. Best of luck. Keep learning. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.